What's going on everyone, Talon here, and welcome back to Futurama Worlds of Tomorrow! Alright, so let's go ahead and collect our daily here, and yes, we still have the almost famous event going on. So, let's see what everyone is up to, everyone should be done with their tasks now. So Bender's done rolling around on his back, and of course he didn't get us the item that we need. Scruffy, Scruffy did get us a clipboard, so that's nice. Alright, where's everyone else at? Oh yeah, let's get this building completed over here so we can start earning stuff. Oh, there we go. We got a manwich right away. Alright, looks like all the buildings got some stuff for us. And then everyone is over here in the 7-Eleven making honey. Come on, there we go. Get some honey. Alright. Cool. Someone was over here as well. Oh yeah, dang it, the presser didn't get us an item for Hermes. Oh well. Who do we have over here? Heathenism bot. Got some more money. Got some in here. All sorts of stuff to collect. All right, let's get that. Oh, nice. Good job, URL. You got us a what is that? A bulletin or something? All right. What about you? Oh, the central bureaucracy didn't get us. What does it drop? Oh, it doesn't drop anything. Never mind. So how are we doing on Hermes over here? Nope. Stop it. There we go. All right, so we've got one completed. We don't have any of those yet because I haven't started any of those tasks. We only have one clipboard and probably one manwich. Yeah, so we're a little bit off on Hermes still, which is fine because we've been working on Bender. Uh, we're still a little ways away from getting B Bender here. Yeah, we're only at 19 out of 50, so we got a little bit of work to do there. Oh, no, I didn't click on you. Nope, stop it. I'm trying to click on the car wash. There, or the car wash, the uh, um, car dealership. Alright. So, let's go ahead and we're going to do some missions here today. So, over here, I did notice that there was a second uh, mission for the bees, or to get pollen to collect for bee bender. So, I thought we would do this one in case there's some story in it. So, let's see. Journey to the center of the hive. The crew gets up close and personal. All right, so who do we need? Oh, we actually need bee benders, so maybe we won't be doing this quite yet. I should have probably looked at that first. Oh, and level 16 recommendation. Okay, so maybe we won't be doing that level at all. Um, hmm. I'm still curious to see what's in there, though. Um, anyway, that means we're just going to be doing the normal story mission then. So where is that at? Insider misinformation. Yep, on planet robot. So three of the Giga Delivery Trips, three regular career trips, and three robot career trips. Very nice. Ooh, 80 Hypnotons, okay. All right, oh, and no required crew members, eh? We're going to the robot planet, so we're definitely taking robot. We're gonna take Bender, um, let's take Fry, and the Professor. Oh, level 11, hmm. I did go around and level up um, one of each class at least to level 10, so I did upgrade the Professor and George Takai there, but I haven't upgraded anyone else, so let's go ahead and get these four here to level 11. Two of them are already there, so we just need Fry and the Professor to level 11. So let's go over here. So let's go ahead and get Fry. All right, we need you to level 11, please. There we go. So Fry to level 11. And let's get the Professor also to level 11. All right, well, I guess it doesn't hurt. Uh, there we go. All right, level 11 for Professor as well. All right, back to the mission. Okay, there we go. Everyone is level 11. Perfect. Okay, so... Got a few paths here. Oh, level 13 Hermes, eh? Holy crap, how big is this map? <laughs> wow. It's a big map. Um, let's see... Uh, I do want that 150 hypnotons, but I'm kind of 
Kind of scared of how strong the enemies are going to be if it requires level 11 for the easy path. That's probably considered the hard path or the medium path. And I'm assuming it would be considered the hard path since it's the only one out of these three with the Hypnotons on it. Um, but we're being adventurous today. Let's see if we're going to get killed or one-shotted by these enemies. Some more space bees, eh? All right. Bring them on. All right. Come on, be nice, space bees. Take damage. Ooh. All right. They're quite quick if they're attacking already. And they're doing a decent amount of damage to us. But we are also doing decent damage to them, so... Ah, so that's okay. <laughs> I'm in terrible pain. That's because you're too old to be doing this, Professor. <laughs> I'm immortal, baby. Doesn't matter, bees. Alright, let's go ahead and heal before we leave here anyway. And... Ta-da! Got some health. Alright, oh, that didn't kill it. There we go, that did. Alright, so two more battles on this path. Alright, science friction. In the future, everybody will die for at least three minutes. Oh, alright. You get, you get to experience three minutes of death. Alright, kill the paramecians. Hit them with science. Hey, that's a different looking uh, uh, beaker. He threw like the urn miner, urn miner beakers before, and now he's throwing just like a regular um, beaker. <laughs> or, I mean, he threw a flask before, the urn miner flask, and now he's throwing a beaker. Interesting. I wonder if that happened just from uh, leveling him up. He's throwing different chemicals now. Or a different concoction at him. One of the two. Fry's pizza still looks the same, so... I'm not sure why that changed. Um, anyway. Let's go ahead and do this last battle here, and then we get our Hypnotons. We're gonna pump up our defense a little bit. And then we are going to hit them with a pizza. A giant pizza. Or hit one of them, at least. Hey, don't... Why'd you hit the middle one? I clicked on the side one. Alright, well, we're gonna attack the middle one now. Go, Professor. Hit all three of them. There you go. Oh, yeah, let's heal up. Go, Golden Bender. Get us a little bit of health back, because we definitely need it. Hmm... They have more health than I thought. Time to use the special. Why do you attack the opposite one that I select, Fry? What did I do to you? He's like, he's like being stubborn or something. He's like, oh, you want me to attack that one? Well, I think I'm gonna hit this one over here. It's like, gee, thanks. All right. Invariable negotiations. Who will crack first? Hmm. We have a chance at a Giga Career Chip. I really would like that. And this time I'm actually going to take a robot since we did have some options for a robot last time. En route to Chesapeake 9, you see a Decapod trading ship. What's not to like? Oh, we get the trading ship again, eh? Hmm. No, I want to trade with them because that means that's how we get that Giga Career Chip. Um... Haggle like a pawn star, eh? Uh, I used to watch that show all the time, actually. Um, why not just buy him up and turn down the off already? Let's see if we can haggle a little bit. Go, Heathen is a bot. Haggle! All right. Oh, well, these chips are burning a hole in my pocket. Literally, it's a deal. All right. I didn't read any of the dialogue. I wonder if it was the same as the last time we run into them anyway. Um, I don't even know why I haggle. I have so many Nixon bucks. I might as well just buy these Giga Career Chips. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, ooh, and another hundred Hypnotons. Very nice. I'll take all you want to give me. Alright. And what do we got here? 
I can't believe I'm trying to make these robots hate humans again. I don't even know where to start. My plan is to torture them in devious ways that only humans could, only a human could think of. Do you think that'll work? No idea, but I've made too many kick me signs to uh, change the course or change course. Uh, oh, I see a robot chip. So this time we probably want the robot, right? Yeah, dishonor guard. He brings great shame to his family. Oh, but we're trying to dishonor him. So actually, maybe we should bring a human for this. So we'll bring a human for that then. All right. As you make your way into the city, you meet a robo guard who appears to be conflicted. Ask his major malfunction. Avoid him like the cyber plague. Uh, we'll ask him about his malfunction. Why not? Because I figure if we actually engage in dialogue, we have a chance at getting that chip. Um, you're showing an abnormal amount of emotion for a robot, which is to say, you're showing emotion. <laughs> Everyone says humans are the scum of the universe, but that ignores space salama salam salmonella salmonella. There we go. Um, is it wrong not to hate humans? Hmm. Affirmative reaction. A firm reaction. Ne negative reaction. Eh. We're trying to make them hate humans again, so that means we want to have a negative reaction yeah there we go we got the chip humans make my skin crawl i hate when that happens especially when you have to chase after it <laughs> yay two mega robot chips perfect all right i think our plan is working the rebellious robots are getting distracted by their instinctive hate for instinctive human hatred i've always um i've always been good at getting people to hate me you are so lucky. Between my wealth and my cuteness, everybody always adores me. <laughs> oh, Amy. Yeah, we all have our crosses to bear. <laughs> I looked angry. All right, what path do we want to take? Um, well, they each only have one battle on them, and of course I would prefer the Hypnotons, so the middle path we go. Give me the Hypnotons. All right. Ooh, Tooth and Copper Nails. Hammer out these obstacles in your way. All right, I will try. All right, we're gonna start off with the professor here. Getting some nice uh, splash damage on them. There we go, weaken them a little bit. Let's boost up our defense. And then we're gonna have Fry do some damage. Be yeah, nice if you tapped if it would skip that animation because when I'm doing multiple people at once, uh, I don't really need to see all of their super animations, but that's fine. And last one, down he Oh, not quite down he goes. One more hit. And no, two more hits. Come on, stop surviving. There we go. Alright, now to get the hypno tons. Very good, very good. All right, let's see what this last battle is. Any hints at where Leela is? All right, let's find out. We've arranged pretty much everyone on Chesapeake, or we've angered pretty much everyone on Chesapeake 9. Anti-human sentiments have reached a fever pitch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're forming a mob to capture us. Huh? How can you tell? That grocery store is having a sale on pitchforks, nooses, and fire. Oh, that's probably a good sign, isn't it? All right, tooth and copper nails. Hammer are these obstacles out in your way. All right. And we're not finding any robots, surprisingly. It's still space bees and paramecians, even though we're on the planet of the robots. All right. Hey, stop ganging up on the professor. Oh, Bender needs some health. Bender doesn't do very much damage in his golden form. Because I think his uh, regular robot form, he does like 100 damage. Or does about the same as Fry right there, 110. Terrible pain! Alright, Professor. Weaken them again. See, he's holding a flask there. And then, yep, he throws a beaker. Hmm. Interesting. And there we go. Alright. 
Victory! Alright. Why should we worry about anyone else coming after us? I wouldn't worry unless you refused... Uh, unless you refused to hold the elevator door for some robots. I was about to, but... We should be okay. At the last second, I refused to hold it for all of them. <laughs> uh, fry. Alright. Ooh, that's a nice haul. We've got all sorts of chips. And a ton of hypnotons. Ooh, what is that? 530 of them? Very nice. Alright, let's return home. Alright, it looks like some of the robots have stopped rebelling. Aren't you worried they'll come after us? Uh, that might... Or, that thought didn't even cross my mind. Yet, now it's my greatest fear. Life is funny. <laughs> oh, fry. It's like, don't remind me, I didn't want to think about that. Alright, so how much fuel do we have left? Ooh, only 18, eh? Um, well, we definitely need some pollen, though, and I don't know what the shortest path is. But anyway, let's see what Amy has going on here. Um, we have to infiltrate the uh, rebel robot base and report back what we see. I can tell you already, I won't be, I won't see anything. I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> but you wear glasses. Oh, without my glasses, I'm even worse. Yeah, even worse than blind as a bat, eh? Complete the mission, eye opener. Hey, there's Leela disguised as a robot. All right, the crew looks for the rebel robot base. Okay, well, we'll do that one next time. Go ahead, collect a few things here, and let's see if we can get more pollen, because I th think we are out. I don't even know how to check, though. I guess we could just try to have someone make some honey, right? Grab some honey. Yeah, we only have three out of five, so definitely need to get some more of that. Alright, so besides that, it looks like we've pretty much um, done everything we're going to do today. Let's, I guess we could start clearing something, right? Because I don't need to build anything. Alright, what buildings don't I have? I have the Avenue Hotel. I've got the Modest bu uh, Business Building. Do I have a city tower? I don't even know, actually. We have a satellite building. We have Skyscraper. Do we have the new New York Plaza? Hmm. Oh, we don't have the Alien Overlord and Taylor. Hmm. That one's kind of expensive. We need to do something to keep spending our nicks and bucks because they keep building up on me. Museum of really modern art, eh? <laughs> Les Spa. <laughs> uh, oh, a Dinkin' Donuts, eh? Hmm. Or the Giorgio and Armistall clothing store. Hmm, what do we want to build? Let's just build this alien... Uh, tailor shop here. Come on. Alright, you're just gonna sit there for now. Alright, so I guess we'll build that instead of clearing out some more areas. Probably clear out some areas later because we have a good amount of hypno tons now. We have almost a thousand. That's the first time I've ever had this many of them, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Alright. So hopefully we will get Bender pretty soon. I don't remember how many days it actually said uh, this event was going on, so I kind of want to get him as soon as possible. I think it's been, what, two days of the event being live now, and they usually last for, like, a weekend type thing, so, like, three, maybe four days, if I remember correctly. Um, but either way, we're gonna keep working on Bender. Um, I'm just gonna let my fuel build up a little bit, because I believe I need at least, like, 24 fuel to do one of the, um, missions for the pollen. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna wait around for, then I'll have everyone start on their tasks. So that's going to be it for this particular episode. I hope you enjoyed, and of course I will catch you on the next one.